Hello, my name is Matt, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use CMake to almost automatically run all of the tests in your project with the CTest tool. Before we start, I just want to ask you to please visit my website and check out all of the posts that I've got, because most of them are quite honestly quite similar to the topic of this video. So you might enjoy a little tip or two from there. So let's get into it. I've got here my WSL distribution uh, on Windows, and I've got a project that I've used previously for integrating Google tests into your CMake and C++ project. So I'm going to open it up with Visual Studio. Obviously, you don't have to use VS Code. You can use any IDE or even the command line if you wish with a Vim or Emacs or something like that. As long as you have CMake, everything should work just fine. So you can see that my uh, VS Code automatically configured everything because that's the settings that I've, I've got. And I'm going to give you a little overview before we start the tutorial, just so you have some context to this video and just so you know what we're actually doing. So this project, as I said, uh, was used for a previous post of mine where I explained how to integrate Google test uh, into your C++ project with CMake. Uh, obviously, if you're interested on that, I'll try and drop the link in the description if I remember. But if not, check out my website and the link, the post will be there. So going into the project, I've got the main CMake lists here where I set all of the sort of CMake uh, boilerplate code, CMake minimum required, project name, and some of the uh, variables I, I like to set such as the standard and the standard required and turning off the extensions. Further to that, I've, I'm adding two subdirectories to my uh, CMake project, one source and then tests. And each of these directories uh, will contain some C++ code as well as either a library or an executable. So let's take a look into the, the source, for example. In here, you can see that I am simply adding a two subdirectories to it. So CMake goes into this and then straight away, it adds, for example, the multiply subdirectory. So if you check out multiply, it has a C++ file where I define a few functions that simply multiplies two numbers. I've got one for integer, floats, and then doubles as well. And then the CMake lists obviously just adds a, a library with that C++ file called multiply. And I also expose some of the headers in the include directory. I'm not going to get into the other directory, but it's basically the same thing. And this is what we're going to be trying to test here. We're going to be trying to test my multiply library using a test executable. So as you know by now, if you're paying attention, there's another add subdirectory for the test directory. And in this directory, I actually define all of my tests. In my case, I've only got one test, and it's this multiply test.cpp, which turns into an executable. In CMake, and I'll show you that in a bit, but it's essentially a pure Google test executable. So I've got a, a bunch of Google tests defined, and the main function simply runs all of the uh, Google tests found in this file. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the CMake. The CMake for this one is a little bit more convoluted. I've got some code here that adds the uh, Google test library, and it's all of this. If you're interested in finding out how this works, I would highly recommend checking out that post I've mentioned before about integrating Google tests. Uh, as well as that, I add my executable multiply test, which is a obviously a program uh, that is composed of the multiply test, multiply underscore test.cpp file. And I also, of course, link Google test into my multiply um, test executable, as well as the library I'm trying to test, which is multiply. But CMake won't run all of the tests I've got in my project with CTest because I'm not telling it to just yet. Let's try that. Let's see what, what it actually looks like. So I've built the project here using my VS Code uh, CMake integration. If you're doing it in a command line, you probably know how to build a project, so build it in a command line. And by default, as you know, CMake will put all of your build files in the builder directory that you've specified. In my case, this is build because of VS Code. It does that automatically for me. So if I run it, if I go into that, I can see that CMake by default mimics all of my sort of project structure inside the build. So I've got tests here, and that's where my test executable should be. And you can see here, multiply test. So as of now, I can simply just run this test here with, you know, by finding it manually and running the program on the on the terminal and you can see that all the all the tests passed successfully but cmake also has a test functionality and this works very well with unit and functional tests and the tool is called ctest and when it, when you install cmake ctest comes sort of built in with that installation so ideally what we want to do is go into the uh, build directory and simply type ctest but in our case it doesn't actually find any tests because we actually haven't defined them and we haven't told CMake where to find them. That's what we're going to be doing now. 
So I'm going to be going back to my test executable CMake list here. I'm going to tell CMake to sort of add this executable to its list of tests that it can run with CTest. Okay. And to do that is actually very simple if we're just using the simple case, which is a call to add test. And then you give it a test name. So for example, multiply to test. And I believe this, this has to be a unique name uh, within all of the tests that you have in your project. And then followed by the command or the executable target you want um, CMake to automatically run. In our case, we're going to tell it to run multiply underscore test automatically. And this is 90% of the way there, because if you actually build your project now, you still won't be able to run CTest here because it will say that it doesn't have a test configuration. And the reason for this is probably because you haven't added a very sort of crucial step here. So if you go back to your root CMake lists, you have to add this call to enable testing in your CMake before you actually include any of the tests. So I would actually recommend adding this call before you add any of the subdirectories or any code that's defining tests in your CMake lists. Okay, so putting it there will do for us. So now we can reconfigure the project and run all the tests with CTest, as you'll be able to see just in a second. So we built it, and then if we do C test here, you can see that now it found my multiply G test. And this is simply, as you know, running the um, multiply test underscore test executable. So th this line of CMake here is what 90% of you will probably need because you probably have a an executable, for example, a Google test executable, where you're testing your, your libraries, your the code that you've written in your project in there. But this is not the only uh, way you can use add tests. You can also use add tests to, for example, run test scripts or functional test scripts. So I would highly recommend uh, checking the documentation now for CMake add test on, on the CMake documentation page. Okay, so let's let's take this a li little bit further for this video. And let's say we want to create a test script that we want to run here. So let's add a new test script. Uh, let's call it a script test or something. And I will write a very sort of basic uh, bash script that will either fail or pass depending on some condition. So this test script that I've written will simply check that the, the test file here exists as a file. And if it does exist, the test will pass. And if it doesn't exist, the test should fail. Okay. And I understand that we don't have that file at the moment and it should by definition, you know, fail as soon as uh, CTest runs this test. Okay. So again, going back to my CMake lists for my tests, I'm going to add another call here, add test, where I'm going to pass in a name. Let's call it you know, a script test or something. And then a command. And you can see that I'm using the, uh, the verbose version of add tests and add tests has many uh, many arguments. But basically in the command argument, you can pass in any command that you wish. In our case, I'm going to tell CMake to run that test file that we've just written. And for the sake of demonstration, I'm also going to add a different working directory here. So our tests work just fine. And yes, in, in, in CTest, in CMake, you can say where you want to run your test executable or script from with the working directory parameter. And let's just set that to the current uh, CMake lists, which if you don't know, is the directory where this current CMake lists file is, which is on the test. So let's just say, you know, our test is going to run from our tests directory. Okay, so if we do this now, and before I forget, um, our test script actually has to be an executable, I believe, for C CMake to run. So let's set that as an executable. And I hope you can see all the commands here. We're going to chmod it plus X on our script test. Okay, so now it should be, you know, an executable test, which means you should be able to execute it from a terminal. And hence, CMake is also going to be able to execute that test. So let's let's run this. Let's uh, reconfigure a project rebuild it and run our tests. So back into the terminal, if I go into my build directory now, the root build directory, and simply type in ctest, you can see that the tests have run. I mean, I, I've got two tests now, one of them is failing, my script test is failing. And it should tell you why the, the test failed. Yeah, in this case, it's not showing it, but I believe we can just run it on the verbose mode and see exactly what didn't work. So let's see what actually failed. File, parameter not set to line three. 
Ah, okay, this is a mistake by me, and simply that. It's reminding me that I'm not writing PowerShell, so yeah. So now, if we want to test again, let's see. They still fail as expected, but let's see what the error actually is. There you go, file not found, test fail. And as I'm running the test in this particular working directory here on the test, for it to make it pass, in our case, this is just an example, I can create a test file, I believe is the same name as here that I'm testing. So now if I run the test, I expect it to completely pass as it should. And we can see that it did here. Okay. So this is basically in a nutshell, what you have to do to sort of automatically run all of the tests that you defined in your project by simply typing C test here. You may not see that how useful this is yet, but trust me, this is very useful, especially when it comes to pipeline testing. If you're pushing your code for a pipeline and you want your pipeline to automatically run all the tests, you're going to be using C test quite a lot. So it's worth learning here. Okay. And I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, don't forget to check out the documentation for ad tests uh, on the CMake documentation page. I haven't really touched all of the arguments that you can set to this, but there are a couple of others you, it may be useful for checking. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this video. So if you did, please subscribe, um, post any comments, any feedback that you may have or any questions, and I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Thank you very much. Bye bye.